Here's a uh, new toy we have at work, a Dell Precision T3600. This is quite a uh, departure from the T3500 series that we've previously been deploying as CAD workstations. The last couple of T3500s that I ordered, they had been slow to ship because of parts availability, so we decided to go with the, try out the T3600s. Um, this one is a 6 core Xeon, um, 16 gigs of RAM, Quadro 4000 graphics card. Uh, I'll have a 256 gig Samsung 840 Pro uh, primary drive and just a standard mechanical disc for secondary storage. Um, I kind of like the case. This is a nice departure from the standard T3500 case. Uh, you got your standard uh, serial ports. You only have one USB 3 port on the back, but you do have six USB ports there. You have your PS2 ports there, uh, your standard Quadro card with DVI and the two display ports. One nice feature that I have noticed is the power supply. It's more reminiscent of your actual server grade power supplies. Uh, you can actually lock this so it does not remove, but simple and you can disconnect the 635 watt power supply easily just clips right back in there uh, it has a nice latch for the opening inside we have a very large heat sink with a metal cover fans on the back side you have four dim slots, two on top of the CPU, two on the bottom. There's your PCI Express slots in PCI. Your hard drive caddy for up to two hard drives you can buy more. Uh, as you saw the CD-ROM drive is the laptop style. You have one, two, three system fans in the front there along that vertical ledge. Here is the little power supply wire cover. There's your interface board. There are six SATA ports. I made the mis mistake of purchasing the uh, Perk H310 uh, SATA SAS card that I do not need because these are pretty much used for graphics processing only, so they just need a basic boot drive and secondary storage so I'll probably end up pulling that it was only a $35 option so no big deal so I'm looking forward to deploying these in the uh, work area now uh, look forward to some uh, SSD benchmarks thanks for watching